and deeper into hell we go. Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Heretic on the Black Pike difficulty as played through Z-Doom. I'm Blood Knight Draken, and this is Episode 2, Map 2, The Lava Pits. Okay, just walk forward and the entrance will open up over some lava pits. Along with some gargoyles, we have new enemies down below called Saber Claws. These are partially metallic monsters. They don't bleed, they just explode when they die, and they have axe blades for hands. So, they're a lot like the Pinky Demons. Uh, they run up to you, they slice away at you, but they're not as threatening. They only do so much damage, and even when you hear the slashing sound, you, you still have a second to get away from it without taking damage. So you explode just like that. So, yeah, they're really not that threatening. Right, so as you jump down onto these platforms in the lava, just be weary that some of them will sink underneath your feet. So just be sure to move quickly when you step on one. Like that. Let's just take care of these saber claws in here. And then we're going to move on to some dry land suit, thankfully, just over yonder. There we go. We also have our first secret in here, but we'll investigate that after we've destroyed all these other saber claws and a few undead up on a ledge connected to this room. Yeah, you can see the axes coming towards us from them. And I find the, the, the best effective way to destroy them up there is just to get rid of as many of these saber claws up on top of these lava falls and then just deal with the undead from then. Alright, those saber claws are gone. We'll just take care of the undead now. So then we don't have to deal with them in that room when we enter it later on. Now, a... Oh, 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 get out of there, Corvus. Okay. Moving along that ledge should have opened up a wall. Uh, well, I guess it's a timed wall, so we're going to have to go back up there. We've got the yellow key. Ah, come on. Yeah, it's a slow going upwards. Pain in the ass, but we're going to have to do it. So, yeah, just move along here. Just... There it is. That wall opens up. And then when you collect the Shadow Sphere, a Disciple will open up from behind. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. Now, we can just go straight to the Yellow Door now if we wanted to, but there's also some additional kills down this Lava Fall. Uh, you can't get back up uh, out of there except with the wings, so we'll just use those afterwards. But, why don't we put the Hell Staff with the Tome of Power to good use? Might as well demonstrate it to you guys, right? Actually, I know something that I'll demonstrate it on later, on later on, so never mind. Let's just use the Dragon Claw for now. Ambush! But, worry not. Yeah. Worry not, we will use the Hell Staff as is along the way as well. So let's just fly out of here. Upsy Daisy and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, we can just fly straight over these pits now. And both yellow doors contain hallways with saber claws in them. So let's just open up the other one as well and make it interesting for us. Oh yeah, these guys drop lesser runes as well, so you'll you'll be able to acquire health staff ammo pretty easily as long as you're not using it for the time being. I think they just drop it at random though, kinda like the pig cops in Enforces in Duke Nukem. Where'd the other one go? I could swear he's still alive. No, he's okay. He's probably dead. All right, so we got some gargoyles up these stairs. More saber claws. Let's press that switch, and the stairs raise up. 
And then as you walk towards the door, just watch out behind you. I believe more gargoyles come out for an ambush after you open up the door. There it is. Yeah, that door opens up automatically and then the one behind you that here opens up as well. And grab yourself another Dragon Core if you want it. Which I'm sure you do. Dragon Core is an awesome weapon after all. Alright, uh, so there's some undead there. We'll just get their attention for the time being. Kill some gargoyles and grab the invulnerability ring. Oh, watch out for those ghostly dudes. Ah, yes, they're pouring out now. You know what? Oh yeah, they such a, it's pretty much like the plasma gun equivalent and it's just just as satisfying. A lot less noisy too. Which is nice. And oh yes, we will just we will be demonstrating its tome of power effect later on. Dear good dear lord, I'm in a bad way, huh? Uh, that's a secret wall over there, but that won't open up until we reach the level exit, so I'll show you how that works later on. Uh, but that door here will not open up until we find a switch for it, so we're going to go for that now. So we'll just run past that door. That's a green door too, by the way, it's just unmarked. So, more Saber Claws. And this room has a variety of doors as well as a secret door. Which is this one here, it should contain some disciples and another hell staff. Well, I might as well use it. Plenty of ammo for it. 400 rounds! And there it is, see, we almost got all of our ammo back for it. How about that? More gargoyles in this room. And that should be it. Switch isn't in here, is it? Nope. Maybe it's in this room here. Ah. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ah, there it is. That'll open up that said door from before. But... Now, there's another secret that I'm thinking of, but I'm wondering if it's elsewhere. I believe it is, but basically, you know, in a nutshell, you'll pretty much want to look out for a blue banner standing out amongst the red banners. For now, let's just open up this, let's just go through this door we've opened up. And there's the green key, so we'll be able to enter the green door now, which I believe is the, holds the secret that I'm talking about. Just watch out for these undead ghosts. A lot more effective this health staff is against him, wouldn't you say? And we've got the gauntlet, gauntlet of the Necromancer, the Chainsaw Gloves! Oh yes, we will be using those. Oh yeah. Alright, through in we go. Just take care of some gargoyles. So, why don't we not only use the Tome of Power, but use the Shadow Spear as well. So that's the exit pillar when you hit that switch it lowers down and you can enter it. But we want the rest of the kills, don't we? As well as the secrets. So, let's put on the Tome of Power and the Shadow Spear and bring out the Chainsaw Gloves. See, it opens up after you hit that switch. And then these guys will come down and we'll just chainsaw the shit out of him, I reckon. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something, though? Oh. Yes, I need to find that banner room, don't I? 
I still can't remember where that was right now. Ah, I believe it was down here. Yes, there's the banner. Just get out the hell staff. There it is, the time of power for us. And then another disciple opens up behind him when you walk forward and we can grab ourselves a morph over. So we have one more kill, one more secret. We've reached the exit room, so we'll be able to go back and enter that secret where that uh, invulnerability ring was now. And oh yes, we will be using the Tome of Power. Let's power it on... now. And watch what this does. Oh, isn't that just glorious? A lot... see... The projectile itself does more damage. And then on top of that, it produces a cloud that pours down rain fire, if you will. And depending on how big the target is, there's more chances of the raindrops hitting it. So if you do it on a smaller target, it's not going to hit them as effectively. It does about, I believe, 5 to 40 points of damage, but then boss-like creatures, except the, the Lich, uh, uh, have partial invulnerability to it. So that, it's kind of ineffective. Anyway, we can pick up an Enchanted Shield. Nice to see one of those. And a Mystic Urn. And regarding these items, I gotta say I really like how they reserved such items for episode two instead of using them in episode one. I, I, I look back in retrospect how in episode one of Doom you're able to pick up soul spheres and mega armors when you also had the lightweight security armor, the green one. It just I don't know, I just I would have just thought that such items would be better off introduced in episode two. Ah, yeah, that's just my way of thinking. Maybe I should have been a video game designer, who knows? Anyway, that's the end of the lava pits. We are heading for the River of Fire. So far, that has to be one of my favourite songs in this entire game in that level. But we won't hear that until episode two map three, will we now? See you guys then.